this is Ryan from Learn Norris for Kids, and today we're doing a let's play of the game Thomas Was a Loon. This game is a game for Steam, for um, iPad, for Android, for basically all devices. And yeah, um, I actually just got this game, and I've started playing a little bit. I was having a blast playing it, and I felt like I needed to do a let's play for it. So here we are. Um, we're going to click New Original Game and go at this game. If you never heard of this game, it's like a side scroll RPG type game, and yeah, so. Let's see, the pro game was a failure. People forgot this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding new strings as AI's Thomas AT23612 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Thomas was alone. Oh, a weird first thought to have. Okay, so yeah, um, this is Thomas, the magical rectangle. Um, and yeah, the, as you can see, there's a narrator in this game. Um, to move, you click left and right. To jump, you click the square. I'm currently playing on um, an, um, on an iPad right now, which I don't normally do for these let's plays. But um, this is two dollars on the on the on the iTunes store compared to ten dollars in the Steam store. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get it for the iPad. Um, and here we go. So we've went through that first little stage, and here we are, 0.2 level. We're just gonna start falling down. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Hmm. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Yeah, so <laughs> I basically have this cool narrator guy that kind of explains my rectangle's thoughts, which is really why I think this game is unique to a lot of side scroller games. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Oh, you damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to jump? Jump? Yeah, and that ba he basically teaches you how to how to jump. Worked. Thomas had solved the great inverted <laughs> fall mystery. Yeah, um, the narrator is really why I think this uh, this game really stuck out to me, and is a lot more than the average size of a scroller game, which you see hundreds of. He really explains the thoughts of this rectangle, explains um, explains how it feels to be in a lone rectangle and the obstacles he has to face. A big jump, but Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's pretty cool. The narrator kind of explains the obstacles as well. Like he's saying, this um, all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. Oh, unstable. <laughs> it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect. Yeah, like a lot of side-scrolling um, games like this, the game definitely requires little flexibility. Um, the maps start to change. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not. All right, we're just going up and to the right. But yeah, as I was saying, um, for the narrator, rudely interrupted me. Um, yeah, this game requires a lot of flexibility. You're gonna see that. Um, the levels just get harder and harder, the obstacles get more of a challenge as you go on, and later on you actually start to like play with new shapes and stuff, and the story bends to it, and it becomes pretty interesting in itself. Whoa, look at this one. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. That's what I just but said. <laughs> to be one step ahead of his skill. Yeah, like I just said, the levels are going to get harder and harder but it's it's pretty awesome that the character starts to notice it himself you know this little rectangle is having these thoughts that these levels are getting harder and harder maybe i'm being tested maybe maybe it's some type of challenge for me oh maybe i'm just bad well i guess you fall down um but yeah that's one thing i found really cool about this it really puts you in the shoes of your character this game um makes you very immersed um yeah Jump, we'll get out of this, Thomas. We'll get out of this. There we go. Yeah, just like if you were... Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. 
Yeah, now now there's like boiling water before there's level parts falling away. It's just about kind of adapting, starting to learn what we can and cannot do. Um, just like if you're playing playing a game with your friends that you've played before, you have to start learning the rules. And the rules of um, this game is obviously don't touch this water, this boiling water, and just keep making it through and getting to these portals no matter what. Ooh, this level. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. Oh man, Thomas is getting lonely. Lonely. Yeah, that, that's one thing that I found really interesting about this game. Like, um, the character is self-aware, as you should be when you're playing it. But um, he understands that he's alone. He understands that he's jumping through these cubes of nothingness. He understands that he, he doesn't know his purpose, as most people don't don't know their purpose. Um, but yeah, he's he's vocal about it, or the narrator is about Thomas, and I think that's pretty cool. It really makes you be able to relate to the character and um, have have feelings for this little rectangle that is just a rectangle trying to get to the portals. Whoa. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, He'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Ain't that right? <laughs> was evolving. That's pretty true. He wished he had someone to share it with. In a lot of games, you oh man, it's so sad. A lot of games, you um, you don't realize that you're be you're getting better at the skill. You you actually make it better. Um, this game brings attention that yeah, Thomas is growing. He can make it through challenges like this. But before, he was just learning how to enter a portal. But, um, it ends pretty on a sad note. He has no one, no, sh no, no shapes to share it with. He, he's lonely. Tom, Thomas doesn't have any friends. But wait. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Who is this Thomas guy? And yeah, what? Thomas finally has a has a shaped friend. They, they may not be friends at first, as you can see. Um, but this this is Christopher. He's a square. He can't jump as high, but he can fit in smaller places. So um, Thomas needs to go over here. But to end the level, I need Christopher to go over there. Um, so if I turn to Christopher. I can't make this jump. How are we gonna do this? Maybe if Thomas and Christopher work together. Awesome. Look at that. That's all you have to do. Um, like I said, you gotta be flexible. You only start to get new shapes, and now Thomas has a new friend, Christopher, and we've already shown a great example of how we needed them to work Chris together. Had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Yeah, yeah Chris is graceful at times. Or, uh, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's that square. Skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Thomas does own the place though. Look at look at these jumps. So yeah, we're just gonna um... Oh <laughs> that wall came out. Oh yeah, but now Thomas is friends, which is pretty cool. Christopher, they may not be friends, but like I said, we'll get there. I believe in Thomas and Christopher. Um can I make that jump? Okay, these I believe are checkpoints as well, which are good to know. So if I go for a jump over here, awesome I made it, but if I didn't make it. Um, yeah, okay, so I got Thomas where he needs to go. Let's hopefully I can get Christopher where he needs to go as well. Oh, oh! <laughs> right off the bat, into the water. Oh, almost the third time. Okay, Christopher, I believe in you. And we hit a wall. <laughs> like, we're gonna have to work together. We already know this. Um, Christopher, as he said, he isn't exactly graceful, but he can get the job done if he needs to. So, um... With a little help from Thomas, Christopher will be able to make it through these pretty easily as well. Whoa! Look at that. I made it. Oh, no, I need to get Thomas back, don't I? Um, hop, hop. Oh, excuse me. Up. Oh. Yeah, Thomas definitely has, has the, the Jordans on, the, the high jumping shoes. He definitely has a little more grace than um, Christopher. Okay. This was more like it's more like it. Glowy yeah, what is this white thing? thing? Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more important. Oh yeah, Thomas can't fit down here, can he? What it do? What no. new opportunity might this switch 
So this is Christopher's time to shine. About time. Oh, look at that. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. Right. Fortune. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Okay, Chris can't make it up these jumps, so I think I'm gonna need Thomas to boost him or something. But yeah, I, I love the little like jealousy aspects that um, the narrator has with Christopher and um, Thomas. And he's like, oh, this guy can just keep jumping as high as he wants. I need help. It's it's pretty hilarious. But yeah, it shows imperfections of humans and um, how no one's the same and everyone has their talents. Everyone has their ambitions and whatnot. Um, and though we all might not be at the good good at one thing that we want to be, we all have our uses at another, like Christopher can sneak into places and press the buttons where Thomas can't fit, although Thomas is a little better jumper, but they can make up for it because Thomas can help out Christopher, and yeah, so let's keep jumping, <laughs> this is one interesting way to do it, I'm not I guess this is the way I was supposed to, I'm supposed to do it, just kind of keep boost, boosting Christopher up, and help him out, I think Thomas can make this jump on his own now, so look at that, wonderful. Oh my, look at this level. Hmm. Okay. Was that good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Hey, Christopher's scared. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Oh! Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where that got him? I like how you can move with, the with them both. Higher platforms, which is sort of his point. Okay, so um, I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be going right here, but we're going to figure it out. Um, oh, okay, I have to go here. Hopefully I don't need to go back and get uh, Christopher somewhere else. We'll see. Ah! <laughs> Trial and error. Okay, so we need a boost. Okay, I feel like that's a priority that we're gonna have to keep going with. Um, maybe we have to keep getting Christopher to the end first, you know? Um, oh, can Christopher make this jump on his own right here? Oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> okay, come on, Christopher, we can do this. You may have short legs. I guess neither of you have legs, but um, we may have sh shorter jumps, but we'll get you there. Yeah, this game is definitely a game of self-awareness, as, as you can see. Um, these shapes have feelings, they, they relate to us as humans, they, as I was saying earlier, they have imperfections, they, they see their faults compared to others, but they also see their, um, their good things, you know, like, like Christopher is always jealous of, of, uh, Thomas's jump, but Christopher can sneak Chris through and stuff. Thomas with pure hatred. He seems so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. Oh man, Thomas, Christopher has a hatred for Thomas. Fogel would split them up. If only for a few levels. Okay, let's see if we can. Okay, we can easily do that as Thomas. Hopefully, no. I think we can do this jump as Christopher. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so here I'm thinking I have to be like, oh, there we go. Let's get Christopher where he needs to go right now. Uh, jumping along. Like. Oh, okay, okay, I got Christopher for where I need to go, which usually is a surprise. Usually I get Thomas there first. But um, Christopher had a little bit of an easier path, because he could squeeze through um, something that Thomas could not do. So we're going to go run and try and jump for this. Oh! See? Just calm down, Christopher. I know you have hatred for Thomas, but look at that. You had that easy way out. Oh! I almost jumped at that platform. Whoa! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so this has been, um, Thomas Was Alone. Oh my, okay, you know, I was gonna end it there, but look at this. He knew that this was his chance. <laughs> moment to shine. John. This 
was game day. This was game day for John. Okay, so yeah, the third shape was introduced. That's awesome. Um, John. So we have Christopher, Thomas, and John. Um, next up, um, I probably need, um, yeah, we'll do this. How about this? We'll, um, um, how are we gonna do this? Maybe if, um, how about this? We, we hop up Christopher, put him on the edge, hop, switch to Thomas, hop, put him up, put him to the right of, uh, Christopher, hop up Christopher, and boom. Yeah, so this has been, um, Thomas is alone. Um, we got the third shape finally introduced. If you guys want to see more of this, and see how far this goes. Show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we're gonna end it here, but if, um, they come from, anyway? you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. I'll gladly do another one, or I might just do another one of my own, just because this game is pretty fun, and I'd love to see John's integration to this, um, family of shapes and back sass and funness. So, see you guys next time on Learn So Kids Let's Play. Bye. Okay, this is one I, I kind of, yeah, I'm going to do exactly what those guys are doing. Um, my, my friends actually taught me this one that I actually got this game to play with. Uh, basically, you just go full power at this target. You can bounce off, you'll land on the target.